back way. Uh, Mr. Moore, hello. Hello. Uh, you are in Sunon this morning. You try uh, some horses. It's not your first time here. No, it's, it's about my fourth, third, fourth, fifth time. I'm not too sure. Um, but I've been here before with Joffrey. And um, yeah, I sat on three horses this morning to bring back to the UK, hopefully. What do you think about this track, this track of Sunon Ponce? I think it's very good. Very good training ground, great facilities, lots of jumps. Um, cater for every different type of horse, flat jumps, everything. So it's, it's very good, yes. And what do you think about French horses? You ride a lot of French horses, what yeah. do you think about it? They, they look like they're the best at the minute um, in Ireland and England. Lots of French horses are winning all the big races, so probably the best, yeah. Not this morning, but, but uh, what horses, French horses, do you discover here? Did you discover here? Um, Sierra de Grugy is probably, he, he's the best one we come from here. Um, we had another horse called Anthony who's quite a good chaser. Uh, Veer Sundown come from here but we didn't, I didn't ride him here but there, a few times Joffrey will send us a DVD of horses and then they have been here and then we, we buy them without coming over you know but uh, I do, it is better if I can come and sit on them but like Sierra de Grugy he's, he's the best one we got from here. What, uh, what uh what feeling do, do you did you have with uh, Sir de Grigi? First feelings? Yeah, I loved him straight away because um, I went flat to the boards around there as fast as I could, and there was two horses that went off two furlongs in front of me, and I ended catching up with him. So I knew I knew straight away he, he was pretty good. And now Sir de Grigi? Yeah. This he, winter? Yeah, he's, he's he's in good form. Uh, he won the Tingle Creek again at the start of the season. Now, then he finished second sprint to Sacra at Kempton over Christmas and now we're going to take on Indeso at um, Ascot in two weeks time. I apologise if I'm saying all the French names wrong if everyone's listening, so I'm not very good at French. <laughs> uh, the next uh, race for Sir de Grigi? Yeah, he'll be at Ascot in two weeks time, the Clarence House Chase and like I say, Indeso's the one to beat there who's, who looks unbeatable when he stands up. Um, yeah, he'll be tough to beat but I think we've got to have a good chance. Thank you very much. Mr. Thank you very much.